in an inexpensive leather couch or a desk chair this spring? You may rethink that idea when you see our next story. Consumer reporter John Mattery shows us what can happen with some cheap furniture so you don't waste your money. Two of the hottest trends in home decorating in recent years are granite counters and leather couches. Now, granite is granite. You really can't fake it. But when it comes to leather, a lot of buyers are ending up very unhappy. They should be willing to do something. Elizabeth Gibson dreamed of having a beautiful leather living room set. So when she found a leather sectional for half price, she grabbed it. What she didn't expect to see was this three years later. It started to crack and peel here first. And it was soon peeling everywhere. Cushions, back, armrest. She then realized the leather wasn't real leather at all, despite the sales pitch. They told me that this was real leather um, when I bought it. But it was really bonded or bicast leather, typically 60% leather shavings, 40% plastics. The FTC says stores should not call it real leather. Bicast leather is the genuine leather, what veneered particle board is to solid hardwood. Joe Nazer is a furniture restoration craftsman. I get quite a few calls for people that need leather repair. And I ask them a few questions and I realize, well, it's not really leather. We contacted Gibson's furniture store, but since the couch was well past its one year warranty, the best the store would do is offer her free slip covers. Gibson feels she was deceived. I thought it was leather. So don't let this happen to you. While some bonded leather furniture is fine, Nazer says be wary of very cheap leather furniture. Ask if an extended warranty will cover peeling and try to research the manufacturer. My advice, be wary of inexpensive leather couches. Find out who makes it, then Google that brand for complaints. That way yours won't be peeling in two years and you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries, WPTV News Channel 5.